I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this is your Lake of the Ozarks news update brought to you by Old Kinderhook and Yacht Club Power Sports. Today we're going to be talking about uh, lakefront landscaping. More jobs in Osage Beach. A local student who discovered a new bacteria. The next Ozark hunting season. And Lake TV visits the farmer's market down in Camdenton. And lots more. All that is coming up after a word from Old Kinderhook Golf Resort. Old Kinderhook at Lake of the Ozarks has everything for your getaway in one convenient location, featuring a Tom Weisskopf designed golf course. The Trophy Room offers a unique dining experience with an amazing view serving breakfast, lunch, and casual dining. Old Kinderhook is your perfect stay and play destination, offering nightly and weekly accommodations, marina facilities, a luxurious spa, and an event space to host a variety of different occasions. Discover your place at the lake, call for 2014 rates and information, or visit us online. What are you doing Saturday morning? How about driving down to the farmer's market in Camdenton Square? You'll find everything from fresh herbs to crafts to baked goods and even free range chickens. Chickens are free range. I get them uh, as day old chicks out of a hatchery in Pennsylvania. I raise them in a brooder room until they're two weeks old and then I turn them outside. They eat grass and bugs or whatever it is chickens prefer to eat. And at night I keep them pinned up so the raccoons don't get them. Looking for a hiking stick? You'll find some unusual ones at the farmer's market. They're just about every kind of wood you can think of from Missouri. How do you come up with these creative ideas? Uh, we go to flea markets and if something just kind of pops out in our eye, it's like, yeah. I gotta put that on a stick. It's spring at the lake, so there's plenty of fresh flowers to pick from. And this lady found a great way to recycle those old styrofoam dock floats everybody had to replace. Mostly what I, I grow is the seed and plants. For this area, there is one plant that does very well. And uh, I uh, pot them up in the styrofoam pots. It's uh, uh, some of the styrofoam that they're trying to get off of the lake that uh, I cut it up and uh, make pots out of and uh, plant them with the seed and plants. There's lots to see at the farmer's market and lots of what's here is made by local people. Tell me about these beautiful uh, things. <laughs> okay, we make, this is a, a concrete leaf casting, a, re, a re, reverse casting. And uh, we use um, a fiber reinforced uh, concrete and it takes a real leaf to make each one and we try to grow our own leaves, different varieties and things. And then I paint them and then peel them with an outdoor commercial concrete peeler. If you're not doing anything in particular one Saturday morning this summer, you might want to stop by the farmer's market. Everybody's welcome. Yes, you too. Bob Spicer for Lake TV at the farmer's market in Camdenton. Do you own a waterfront home? You might be eligible for a $2,000 grant from Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance. LOA has set aside funding to help homeowners create low impact landscaping that can help keep runoff water out of the lake. If you have to live between the one and 19 mile markers to qualify for the funds, visit SOSLOA.org to learn more about landscaping for the lake and maybe even get some money to help you do it. A new retirement community could provide an economic boost to the city of Osage Beach. Mayor Penny Lyons last week confirmed planning is underway for the facility. It would be built on Highway KK. It would contain 90 assisted living apartments and 80 skilled nursing beds. The estimated construction cost for the privately owned facility, more than $25 million. And once the community is fully operational, it would bring about 125 jobs into the city. No word yet on when construction will actually begin. School of the Osage is honoring their oldest living graduate at this year's commencement ceremony. Mr. Tennyson de Graffenried graduated from School of the Osage in 1939 and he is still active in the Lake Ozarks community. De Graffenried will be honored as the district's distinguished alumni at the graduation ceremony on May 22nd at 7 p.m. A couple of Camdenton High School students are making serious strides in the world of science and have received statewide and national recognition as a result. Tyler Carpenter won first place at the Missouri Academy of Sciences competition for his discovery of a new species of bacteria that could help in the pursuit of alternative energy sources. And another student, Katie Chappell, will be headed to Washington, D.C. to compete against students from across the nation after she earned distinction for her study of coral reefs off the coast of Belize. 
Chapel's research considered the effectiveness of a commercial fishing ban that was designed to protect the shrinking coral reefs. Camden County could be closer to having a new planning and zoning administrator. On the other hand, it might have a long way to go. Last week, the county commission met to consider candidates for the role, but during the meeting, 2nd District Commissioner Cliff Luber insisted they discuss the matter in closed session, citing privacy concerns. According to Luber, right now there is only one serious candidate for the position, but it appears no decision was made about that candidate during the closed session. It was a good year for turkey hunting. The Missouri Conservation Department says hunters harvested more than 47,000 turkeys this season, making 2014 the third year in a row to see an increase in harvest numbers. Before 2011, Missouri's turkey population struggled with several bad hatching years, but better hatches and good weather made for a great spring season. The MDC said, if you bagged a bird this season, check out the department's first turkey program. <laughs> It provides a certificate to commemorate a hunter's first gobbler. And whether or not you got a turkey this spring, one of Missouri's most hunted animals will be on the run this weekend when squirrel season begins. The season officially opens on Saturday, May 24th and will go through February 15th of 2015. The daily possession limit for squirrels is 10 and the aggregate limit is 20, which should be plenty to cook up a big pot of Ozark stew. Or check out the Conservation Department's website for a recipe to make squirrel and dumplings. Happy hunting! If you're looking for something to do besides squirrel hunting, Memorial Day is a great weekend to be at the lake. We'll return with a look at some upcoming events after this message from Yacht Club Power Sports. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports, on the water, in the woods, or on the streets. At Yacht Club Power Sports, we have your ticket to ride, like an awesome lineup of Can-Am ATVs and side-by-sides. The Can-Am Maverick Max can tear up the trail or you can make your own trail. Come into Yacht Club Power Sports and check out the all-new Sea-Doo Spark. Things are looking up at Yacht Club Power Sports in Osage Beach, under the big red sign in front of High V. Yacht Club Power Sports, where the fun begins and never ends. The City of Versailles is hosting a KC-sanctioned barbecue challenge this weekend at the City Park. There will be live music and fireworks on Saturday and Sunday nights. Check out the City's website for more details. Boaters will celebrate Memorial Day with the annual Parade of Lights on Saturday night. The procession will begin at 8.30 p.m. at Ozark Yacht Club. Awards will be given after the parade for Best Decorated Boat and a Runner-Up. Boaters are encouraged to design a creative display and light up the water Saturday night. The Bagnell Dam Outreach kicks off their free Christian concert series this weekend. Music begins at 8 p.m. on the Lubies stage at the Strip. Playing this week is the Sanctified Blues Band. And the weekly Cars and Coffee event will return to the lake live with free coffee and classic cars down on the Strip Saturday morning. Don't miss the fireworks displays around the lake this weekend. Saturday, Bear Bottom Resort will light up the sky and Sunday night, Tantara and the Lodge of Four Seasons will take their turn with Celebration and Tropic Island Cruises offering a chance to see the display from the water. This has been your Lake of the Ozarks News Update. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.